Kids Comics. Silverhead Bronze Age Babe here, yakking about her comic book collection, and today I thought I would take a look back uh, to the early 1970s and the issue of pollution. Um, here we sit in 2020 with efforts underway on a federal level to um, roll back some of the regulations aimed at keeping your clean water and your clean air uh, intact. And um, I just thought it just reminded me of the discussion about all that from, 19, from the early 1970s. The comic books um, talked about it as well, the Superboy issue. Uh, the introduction of Aqualad, he washes up in, on shore and he has been almost drowned in an oil spill. Uh, the Aquaman uh, issue there, the creature that devoured Detroit, that is pollution that is making its way uh, up the Detroit River um, and uh, about to suffocate uh, the city of Detroit. Even the Batman 250 uh, one is um, you'll even though that's a couple years later you'll remember that the Joker is caught because he uh, slips on an oil <laughs> an oil slicked um, uh, area basically a uh, he he falls because of pollution so it makes Batman happy um, this is another book that talks about the same issue from my collection uh, this is Justice League number seventy nine with a very compelling cover by Neil Adams. Uh, Stop the deadly pollution, no one on earth will be left alive. Um, it is written uh, by um, Denny O'Neill. And so it wasn't just the Green Lantern, Green Arrow books that were covering the social situation. He was putting the same kind of thought into the Justice League stories. Um, I am not going to go page by page <laughs> because uh, Justice League stories uh, drive me crazy. I, I, I wish I liked them. I, I just don't. Uh, there are too many characters and they're you know, slipping between what do you think and here's what I think. Although I do, I want to point out this panel seems very timely. Look, Superman's masked up. <laughs> um, they get uh, the backstory of the bad guys they're fighting, and it's on a planet that has, here we go, um, been taken over by, um, uh, it says, Monsan. We have made Monsan. It's like Monsanto? Oh, gee, I get it. Um, anyway, once we gloried in our... Uh, industrial might. Day and night our fabricating plants spewed forth goods and alas poisons into our atmosphere. Scientists warned us it didn't matter. And then uh, the evil scientists figure out figured out a way to basically uh, morph the brain chemistry of people so that you could live in pollution. Um, so yep that's one way to do it. Um, the Justice League I you know as you can probably imagine prevails. Um, beard in this is kind of fun, but again, I just don't have the energy to read through the entire story for you. Uh, but I do love this image, the poor brainwashed uh, guy who can live in pollution um, finds his way to fresh air, and of course that just does him in. <laughs> uh, and then we end the story with Black Canary and Green Arrow. Perhaps in a while I'll be able to discover myself. For now, let's be grateful that we saved your Earth. And Green Lantern looks uh, in a worried way over the landscape. And he wonders, did we? So there you have it. That is uh, what the the socially conscious comic book folks uh, in the early 70s were doing. And uh, I think it's great stuff. And um, it's, I'm, I'm really glad to have these samples in my collection. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.